Hey, everybody. God bless you. Hey, have you been checking your fruit? Fruits, the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now, the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and such. There is no law. I've been traveling for the last couple of weeks, and I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and do a TikTok. I'm talking a little low because I'm in a hotel, and I don't want to, you know, be too loud and disturb people. But the point is, you want to bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And the fact is, I know that even in traveling, people rather have a very comfortable talk around people bearing good fruit. And the fact is that this is something that doesn't have to be religious, just being you. Unless you want to be angry and bitter and, 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 and nasty. If that's what you are, check your fruit. Because that means the Holy Spirit is not operating in you. Allow the Holy Spirit to operate in you. Bear fruit because of Him. And don't forget, Christ gave us a commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. As I have loved you, that you also love one another. And verse 35 says, This man will know that you are my disciples for the love that you have for one another. And in Matthew 12, 33 says that either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by its fruit. And I'd rather you want, I'd rather you, I'd rather myself be known by bearing good fruit instead of corrupt fruit. And you know, I've been looking lately, when you talk about corrupt fruit, you know, it's, 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 I'm mean, coming to a title called labeling, labeling people. And the, the one is in the modern day time now, Russia and Ukraine, and Russia saying that the people that they're killing are Nazis, not Ukrainians, not civilians. And the targets are targeting Nazis as if the label justifies the atrocities. And how many of us through history have allowed labels to be the means to justify hurting somebody? Just because you label them? Or well, even if they are labeled a certain way, does that justify your actions? Does justify you bearing corrupt fruit opposed to good fruit? Is that what Christ wants us to do? They even did that to Christ. And in John chapter 9, when the man was blind, was born blind, and Jesus opened his eyes, and, and, and you know, the Pharisees, the Pharisees and the Sadducees came and questioned the man and sit down like in verse 9, 24, said, we know this man is a sinner. And the man said, I don't know whether he's a sinner or not. All of those I was once blind, but now I can see. How many of us go through life judging people, labeling people, and then bearing corrupt fruit. Check your fruit because there's no justification for it. Amen. God bless you. Check your fruit today. Hallelujah.